lot of people still think of, of things like cultural safety and cultural awareness as acquiring skills and knowledge when it's actually about challenging the skills and knowledge you've been carrying for many, many years. I think it's important. I think there are multiple, hundreds and thousands of instances where information has been collected about us and it does not represent us. And if you're going to be sitting in a position where you're providing this information to community, to anyone within our community, then you need to be aware of the implications that it will have and the cultural competency training will do that for you. You will learn things that you didn't know that you didn't know. The difference I hope to see in my library following this program is that I hope people can see ways in which they can work better with their Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander colleagues. And I hope as if they feel empowered and more confident to take the initiative um, and really uh, look for ways in which they can incorporate Aboriginal perspectives into the work that they do. Even as an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander person, I'm still learning my own, you know, culture, my own mob, you know, we're all different as well. So um, it's important that uh, we all uh, have this, um, at least, uh, training and uh, understanding and, um, and it's a start. It's, it's, it's a journey that will continue forever. Mm -hmm.